Feature Friday. The freshest. Hi. Hey, you guys. Hi. Hey. Hey. Good to meet you, lads. Good to meet you. Good to meet you too. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait to get to talking to you all. I've been absolutely in obsessed with your whole freaking concept. So I'm so happy to have you on. All right, so let us introduce ourselves. Yeah. For, for making the time it, it's, it's truly an honor to have you on nah don't worry don't worry about that we're honored to be in your show too and let's have fun tonight all right, right in, ca- in case you don't know guys uh, um, Bales- her name is Valeska and my name is Efra um, yeah I've seen her doing the yeah YouTube our music video reaction <laughs> reaction <laughs> very nice I actually no 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 absolutely a pleasure absolutely because from the beginning, let's just let's just start right off the bat. Like the idea and concept of Kingdom is pretty wild, right? So um, I would love to know how initially how it all started from you guys um, before even becoming Kingdom individually, you know? In terms of music, because a lot, yeah. a lot of you guys seem to be very aligned with singing and rapping. And, and I mean, we're just interested in knowing maybe you were singing since you were kids mm-hmm. or maybe you were sort of performing since you were, I don't know, in school or stuff like that. What was the beginning story like? So before he debuted, his name is Arthur and he used to be in a dance team. Like he also uh, had been a dancer for uh, Psy and Four Minute, Wow. And awesome. Fun. Come on, Arthur. What a beginning, right? Yeah. <laughs> holy wikamoli. So one may just start dancing though. Oh, 저는 15살 때부터 춤을 처음 시작했고 그리고 정식으로 배운 거는 16살 정도 후반에. Since he was 15 he started to dance and he started to learn like professionally when he was around 16 in Korean age. I oh, see. Be like 14 or 15 in state age. I see, right, I see. Right. But by the way, guys, um, it, it, the cool thing about bringing you onto a podcast is that I'd love to hear from it individually, from, from all of you, kind of your stories, because we, we get the chance to kind of take our time. And, mm-hmm. and I think the fans would really love to enjoy individual stories. And, and, and uh, so that's brilliant from Arthur. But perhaps if anyone would like to share how they sort of began into music. Even Louis, he was in a dance team. Nice. And he was also chill. He was also in a dance team. Yeah, I see. Little, okay, from he was in a band before his name is Mujin. Cool. Nice. Cool stuff. Before he had done a uh, dance, in, when he was a, before he had <laughs> been in a, wait, before he went into a dance team, yeah. he uh, wanted to become an idol, so he, uh, was looking for a new uh, vocal training academy. Right. Okay, sorry. Yeah, sorry for that. No. And what else, Ivan? He was in an other <laughs> enter- yeah, other entertainment since he was young. He was training inside okay. the other entertainment and Chahan. Mm-hmm. 
he was learning a guitar in the beginning. Oh wow! But yeah, and then his guitar trainer, he and the vocal trainer, they were like friends. It was like, hey, well, how about like singing? Yeah. And uh, for me, I was I used to be like an interpreter for a KCON in Abu Dhabi in 2015. What? And I was gonna say you you got it all down. Everybody's your English, you blah blah blah. Your like, English you is like, fantastic, Ooh. brother. Yeah. You're in and out. Like this is easy for you. I love Good. that, Ben. Thank you, Mike. And then yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> love that. Love that. I dreamed to become a K-pop idol since then, and I think I got casted. On uh, mm. one of our staff member who was nice. there, he, she was um, entertainment CEO in Korea. So it's like if you go to Korea, like I want to work with you. And then I came to Korea, and then I I started to become a trainee, and then that's how I joined the group. Fantastic. I I think it's it's, it's sometimes important to kind of look back mm. at you know each origin story. So I th thank you for sharing because it puts into perspective. Um, I don't you know sometimes we have a. a sort of artists come in and talk and it's, it's really hard for other people to understand that to get to the skill mm -hmm. that you guys are, are kind of achieving and the level you guys are at, it's a, it's a long journey and it requires lots of previous experience and hard work. So it's really nice to hear like uh, each individual story. I do have a question though. Um, well, why, why is your English so bloody good? Like uh, the my English is so bloody good because I used to live in Dubai. Oh, so everyone speaks English kind of thing? Uh, no, some of us do speak English, like uh, Bujin and Louie, but they learned it in Korean. Actually, I think Bujin, he used to live in LA for six months. All right. Nice. I see, I see. Well, <laughs> six months. Six, six months, six months. <laughs> no, six months. I, hey, hey. <laughs> okay, okay. One year. <laughs> Listen, it's great. It's absolutely fantastic to have all of your stories coming in together and seeing how well you guys work as a unity. Because um, tell me a little bit more about the time that you guys became Kingdom. What was that like for all of you? Getting to know each other for the first time? Was it fun right off the bat? Oh, she just Wow, perfect. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah. Yo, oh, so I think. Oh. We are we are not team. We are family. <laughs> Chill, Bill. <laughs> I like that. No, but it, it was it was more in the sense of um, yeah. How because the, the concept is so unique of kingdom um and you know traditional Korean influences mm -hmm. in terms of sound. Uh, obviously, each member is his own king and represents a new king and kingdom from different times. When when everything came together, what was how, how do you come up with the concept? How does the, the you know, the team sit you down and it's okay, this is what's going to be. And what was the process of preparing it to becoming kingdom like? So actually uh, the process was, um, you know, we have our uh, producer and our manager and our CEO. And then before you even debuted, our concept was already out. So right. when, uh, when we were gathering all the members, yeah, our manager and our producer, he went to uh, each of our parents' house where they right. lived in Korea. And then he will, he had like prepared um, the concepts and he printed all of them out. And then it was, there were like seven kingdoms and I want your son to be in our company. And I was we going to make them debut as a group named Kingdom. And this is their concept. And then he showed us like a, you know, like our... Uh, our uh, company's profile and our concepts to our parents and so that's how we gathered up yeah that's wild that's dedication i it's, love that it's, it's interesting how it was so uh because you can tell in the projects i mean i i have to congratulate you on on the latest release ascension it, it's it's truly fantastic because mm. You don't really see, especially, you know, in pop, in the pop genre, so many influences of unique sounds. So in and your traditional case, traditional influences, so core. So I, I truly have to commend you guys into, into that release because it's, it's unique and it's, that's hard to make in an industry where there's new things happening every day and every week. So congrats on that. So it, it, ma it makes sense. The fact that it was so, uh, what would you call it? Aligned from the beginning. Mm. Oh, yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. No, you're very welcome. Let's talk a little bit about that song in specific. Since yes. we're since we're here, we're in the present day now. Um, let's talk about the 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 idea of uh, album number four, right? So, history of kingdom Dan. part four, Dan, right? So, mm. it's all about the focus of how cinematic that album is, 
from beginning to end. Both of those intros and outros, they bring such a beautiful picture. And it's it's really hard to detach yourself from the reality that you guys have made. Um, so talk to me about the whole process of this album and what was your personal approach to it. So apologies, mate, as well. I know we're making the <laughs> questions quite long and you have to translate them. <laughs> so sorry. Don't worry about that. You want it? Okay, so I think it wasn't difficult for us to do this uh, album because, you know, as if you, if you see our cookie video at the end of our music video, our concepts, uh, we show like what's coming up next. And already our album's concept is ready for like, a, I think almost 32 albums are already ready to come out. What? The concept is already out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really? You're, you're only on the fourth one. Yeah, I know. 32 of them ready. And, you know, and but specifically, we call this a season history of kingdom. We're just showing uh, what's coming up for a kingdom. And I, I think what he said was this album was specifically important for us because, you know, we take all the cultures all around the world and we make it to K-pop. But this one was, you know, uh, um, it was like a, we have to show Korea's yes. uh, natural uh, national, you know, outfit. Also, Hamburg was there and we wanted to show natural beauty of Korea. So this one was our, you know, the most not the most, but like one of the most important. And we were ready, so much ready for this because uh, this album, we can show our color, you know, the color of kingdom properly to all the audiences and all the uh, people who's watching all around the world. So that's what he said, yeah. <laughs> Man, damn, I don't, I don't know brain. if I translate that correct, but yeah. You're no. doing a fabulous job. My brain would be totally melted right now. It would be like mush. Yeah. You're doing, you're doing money. So moves. I do have a couple of questions regarding some of the other songs, uh, because mm -hmm. I, that was, I mean, for example, one of my favorites, which was, um, the song of Dan, you know, kind of the promise, which is promise. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh -huh. I'd love to maybe have a quick listen to it. Just like a first couple of 45 seconds, a minute, and then you can kind of take me through what, um, the process of recording the song was and, and the inspiration behind everything. Should we do that? Okay. Let's go, let's listen together. Let's give it a watch. What I really enjoyed about that specific piece of work, the details present throughout the whole song. So for example, the splash of the symbols, the presence of Korean traditional instruments, that's a sound that you don't you don't really get mm. in any any other artist at the moment. So it, it's it's truly unique. And again, it's so hard to kind of come up with those ideas in an industry where so many new things are happening. So what was the process of that like? That's right. And you know, this album is uh, more special because um, there is another music video coming up soon about wow. the song that you like about. Yes, Thomas. good. Another music video is going to come out. And basically uh, this, the song of Dan is a story of a story beside happening. Wait, let me, let me think. A beside <laughs> story. <laughs> huh. it's, a, it's, a, it's a story of Dan in an actual ascension, our title song, but you know, beside all the, you know, all the war and all those things happening, it's kind of like a, 
you can say a love story. Right. Because if you look at the lyrics, mm. the, the part, mm. the chorus part, it means, uh, please remember the, um, the spring that we've been through together. And right. then, but at the end, there's this lyrics which goes like this, why does my love hurt so much? So you can check out the story when our music video is out Yay. and it's going to tell you everything. And then if it is sort of like, because that's quite intriguing, right? The fact there is war and sort of chaos going on at the same time, but there can be stories of love in the same individual. So it can be, it's like a, like a du dual story. It's mm -hmm. like two stories happening at the same time, but in different that's right. moments. You know, it, that's right. it's really cool because in, in the music video for Ascension, you get so many amazing things happening. Like from a storyboarding perspective, the whole process of filming a music video that is so cinematic must take incredible amount of time from production, incredible amount of time from you guys as the talent. Tell me, walk me through the process of making the music video for this comeback. You know, actually it was in the winter time, so he was saying it was very Whoa. cold. <laughs> 한국의 멋을 담고 음, 우리의 소리를 담으려고 많이 노력했습니다. So uh, you say we tried our best to show the beauty of Korea. So uh, like where it took place was it was in uh 그 우리 한데 it was in Daejeonggum Park. Oh right. Okay. Yes. Yeah, and then it's it wasn't actually a CG. It was actually a place. It was all real. Yeah, it was real. So wow. And then it was the, the snow that you guys saw, like, yeah, that was also real. So it was <laughs> Oh my and, God, I thought that was post-production. Yeah. And, and then the floor were like floor that was iced up. So it was really slippery and, you know, but I think that's pretty much what we try to show. And if you see at the back, I don't know if you guys noticed, uh, there is like 30 uh, students who are playing the Korean national instrument at the back. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so we, we try to, you know, take everything of what's good about like Korea, although mm -hmm. there's more, but like to show to all the people all around the world that this is beauty of Korea. Yeah. And you've done and an... The, yeah. No, go ahead. Please do. Yeah, even, even the instruments that we used, it was, you know, the traditional Korean instruments. So yeah, it's pretty much like, you know, we try to show our best. Well, because that way, you know, you're guaranteed to showcase maybe a new sound, a, a, a new look. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, you know, the win-win situation is you also get to show your culture, your country in a proud and, you know, in a lovely manner. But at the end of the day, it has to work. Mu musically speaking, it has to work. And that's what really surprised me. It worked. in, in So harmoniously. Yes, it, it was... was it was such a cohesive sound development of the whole of the whole composition of the track itself. But obviously the storyline up to this point, we've seen four different music videos. They all give out of what's coming next. They leave you in such a cliffhanger. You guys could make be, a movie to be fair with just those cutscenes. I have to be honest, right towards the end of that music video, I was like, what? What does this mean? What, what's coming? I don't know. It's you know, wild. I think you guys are right on like right on point because we might, you know, we can make a movie, you know, we, we're trying to produce a movie like performance on yes. stage. And also just to give you guys a little uh, spoiler, we might. Yeah, I'll just keep it to this point to, <laughs> to all the members. <laughs> No, you're more than welcome, you guys. Honestly, I but, think by the way, th thanks for stopping the spoiler, mate. Don't get us in trouble. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Here's a question: Given the fact that, uh, and may maybe I'd love to hear uh, from, from from every member on this, because everything is so cinematic, um, and and the music videos are a big production. How does this translate? And what's your objective when you go into live music? Mm -hmm. Um. In, in, you know, I've seen you in Inkigayo, in, in, in KBS, and, and it's really impressive how you're able to translate the music video then into a live performance. Yeah, that cinematic effect. So what's, as a performer individually, what are your objectives and kind of mentalities that you go into live performing music? Well, 
저희가 목표는 늘 그랬듯이 그냥 히스토리 오브 킹덤 그 자체가 되고 싶은 거고 무대로 음. 올라갈 때는 이제 연, 연출을 너무나도 이제 잘해주셨고 음. 임하는 거는 아마 킹 on stage 아, so as a, as a performer before he goes up and then he, he, you know, he tells himself I'm the king and uh, his, his objective is uh, He, he, he wants to show like, just the history of kingdom like on stage and you know our performance too we have our you know performance director who is really you know talented so he makes you know he helps us you know uh, perform and all these like choreography so everything was kind of ready for us <laughs> 곡이 좋은 곡이 나오고 좋은 안무가 나오고 좋은 컨셉들이 있어가지고 음. 저희는 확실히 근데 주어진 곳에 아. 이제 뭐 집중하고 컨셉에 음. 맞게 좀 아, 몰입을 하기만 했으면 돼가지고 음. 무대하는 데는 그게 어려웠죠. 음. So you know our concept was ready and our you know choreography was ready and amazing song was ready. So he said. All we had to do was just get into the music and just perform. So yeah. there were no difficulties when he went up on the stage. Nice, nice. That's But awesome. You must, you must still get nervous though, as, as you know, be, before sort of performing. And, and I'm sure other, you know, some of your fans maybe wish and dream to be, of becoming idols or performing. Maybe what advice do any of you have, like, to handle that type of nervousness? I'd imagine you, you must have been quite nervous debuting because it's, it's a big deal, or maybe in, in live performances. So maybe any advice or thoughts for your, your fans that probably want to be like you? <laughs> And it's like, you don't have to get nervous, you have to enjoy the stage. If you cannot avoid it, then enjoy. Wow, his name is Chiu. He said, I think it's necessary to um, actually uh, Be nervous because if you're not like so nervous, you can make a mistake. So you have to always be, you know, on point and always be a little nervous to actually not make a mistake. Yeah, it, it's funny you mentioned that because um, this, that's a very popular saying amongst the uh, fighters, boxers and UFC. I don't know if any of you follow mixed martial arts, but it, it's a very popular saying that the nerves, nice, that the nerves keep you sharp, that you actually need to be afraid. You need to be nervous because mm -hmm. that's what keeps you sharp in the moments of pressure. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> But, and to, just to go back to that idea of individual experiences of how to get ready for um, the showcases on TV. Anyone else would like to share their personal experiences in the first time? Oh, yeah. About our showcase? Yeah, yeah. the first showcase that you ever did on TV. So we couldn't do a showcase for our first or second album, so we did our showcase for the first time for our third album. Nice. And it was our first time, you know, showing our fans our showcase. Wow. So we were really, you know, uh, excited. And even though like we couldn't do the first and second album showcase, uh, we get to show ourselves uh, for our third album. So we're really happy. And we were so thankful that so many fans and so many people saw our uh, showcase and got in interested about our, you know, performances. So I just want to say thank you. No, um, again, it, it's that's something really interesting about you guys that it, I think because the concept of Kingdom is so unique mm -hmm. and the sound, because at the end of the day, if the music is not good, then it may not attract people because the music, it's really high level. It Everything else, it becomes aligned. So people become a fan quite fast. I have to say people were really excited and when, when you guys released your latest uh, uh Uh, release um, and they were all texting us. It's like you have to check it out. It's <laughs> it's amazing, and the fact that we got a chance to speak to you guys is is a pleasure again. Oh, thank you. Well, 
I'd like to dive deep, guys. Um, again, we don't we don't get the chance to sort of dive deep in a podcast like this with individuals like yourselves mm-hmm. often. So take us through when you're recording a song in a studio. Uh, and I'd love to hear this from every member. By the way, if, if everyone would like to answer the same question, feel free. At, at the end of the day, it is about you guys. Um, what is it like when you sort of, you know, maybe you get given a song or maybe you have the concept, the story, and what are the recording sessions like? Like how long do they go for? What's that process like? Um, I think so it's our concept's really unique and before he goes into the recording session he has to think I'm the king I'm the king because you know our concept's so unique and yeah. so different than all the other music and you know if you see our lyrics we're talking about kings war and you know you know like the fight and also peace and all those kind of difficult uh, stuff which is normally not in mu- not in music so mm-hmm. he had to you know you know talk to himself like oh i'm the king i'm the king and then when he actually do think like that and then go inside record you know our music director he goes like oh this time is really good then <laughs> uh, it's like and then when when he don't think um that he's a king then he's like oh, something something's missing out yes. something's missing out try to find that and he's like oh okay and then he sings it and they say oh that's really good yeah yeah it, it's it actually translates really well because a lot of the times uh, it's it's a mental process more than it is a a physical thing right so that's why that's why this question always intrigues me if anybody would like to give their their own thought approach to well, the recording I, apologies yeah. if we interrupted you brother i thought you were going to say something else oh, sorry. no no i was okay. going to say something i was going to you know ask other members okay okay go yeah, for it go yeah, for yeah. it yeah uh, 주어진 파트가 있으면 그 주어진 파트를 팀에게 피해주지 않기 위해 할 특강량을 음. 완전히 먼저 하자 음. 이 정도가 저희의 기억이 아 나중에 이걸 제일 잘했어 아 so when he you know when when the parts are given out to him yeah he's trying to he she tries his best not to you know uh is he she tries his best for the team uh, to not fail and to not fail the team. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's again, it's like, it's hard sometimes to understand because there's so much pressure involved, you know, there's so much, you don't want to let the team down. So you go into the, the studio and it's not just expectations. It's also, you have other members that are also just working just as hard. And plus you guys are close friends. So you don't want to let anyone. That's why I completely understand. It makes sense. The idea, I really like that idea of when, because the concept of kingdom is essentially seven kings, you have to kind of become a king yourself. Mm-hmm. It's did, like you're acting. Did any of you maybe have to read upon, I don't know, any, any history, any history or, or maybe help becoming, uh, uh, helping you into becoming kingdom? What, what was maybe your personal preparation into becoming a king, I guess? Oh, oh okay. well, actually, 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 we're not uh, acting as a to be a king. We, we are actually a king. So you know, we act. We act to we, be. Yeah, we act to be a normal person in in real life. And it's really hard, but you know, in life. <laughs> yeah, in real life. The, we are a king. Yeah. Oh, we bow down to you. Thank you. We bow down to you all. Yes, yes, Regal. Oh. But, I, but I mean it more in the artistic sense of when you perform. Maybe you looked at a specific king in history, or maybe you looked at it, maybe some inspirations for your Regalness. Yes. Okay. So he gets attached to the lyrics. Ah. So if he, he looks at all the lyrics and if there's like a lyric which goes like the castle is like burning down yep. and he searches burning castle and then he looks 
I mean, what, what, what does it, how does it feel mm. to look at a burning castle? And he also looks at the drama, which is, you know, which, which goes like similar to burning castle. And then, you know, and then he tries to make like a motion and tries to act inside his mind. What's happening? Yeah. That's brilliant. The, the, there's so much to it. There's so much character building that comes with it because you, you're, yeah, you're kings yourself, but you also have to find inspiration from other outsources and you never really know where the inspiration is going to strike. That's really cool. I love that. That's right. And, you know, it's really hard to, you know, act to act like a normal person. I mean, like, <laughs> mm, totally. Kings by ourselves. I mean, like, yes. Yeah. Oh. Must be hard. But Just walk around normal we're, people we're like us. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Rule K-pop. I mean, uh, yeah. You got it. Just cut that out. Just cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> There's already kings. I mean, yeah. We love you. <laughs> K-pop seniors. Yeah. <laughs> well, talk, talking about that, I, I mean, this is certainly a question that I'm sure you guys probably get asked a lot, but it's still interesting to dive into it. What type of music do you guys listen to uh, mm -hmm. in the in your individual times and what are kind of your favorite things? Butter. <laughs> Butter. Smooth yeah. like butter, like oh, yeah. Yeah. I love BTS. Uh, like butter. Oh, sorry. Woo! Cover. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't know why, but he likes very old songs, which which came out in like nineteen eighties. That's good. Nineties. <laughs> yeah. But from like, Korea or from other parts of the world? Oh, Korean, yeah, Korean, Korean. songs. Oh, nice. I don't... <laughs> to be honest, the 80s ballads from Korea, they just hit different. They really do hit your soul differently. I agree. To be honest, just Korean ballads in general, they just hit different, yeah. Do you know, do you know why, you know, uh, the Kingdom of Tan is called Kingdom of Change? Why? Actually, no, why? Because, you know, Korea, it's, they're really fast in all the fashion and all the you know changes that's why we called it kingdom of change i see because it's so I just remember because you, you said you know every time you know 1980s <laughs> they hit it different yeah, yeah. what other what type of music do you guys like he likes pop song <laughs> yeah but but what what artists so what art does he like i don't know love love I love you, Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber. Bieber. I, I like James Arthur. Oh, nice, very nice. Me too, me too. Oh, British fella. Which which song? Which song? Oh, I, I like his latest album, like the last album he came out with. Like, yes, from beginning to end. It's beautiful. You know yeah. what? When when he when James auditioned for the first time uh, in, I think it was, it was either X Factor or British Got Talent. I don't remember which one it was. Uh -huh. um, when he auditioned, uh, it became a national phenomenon. Ooh. So you would see his face and Everywhere. he would go to schools to like greet students and stuff. And Just and, from one audition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he, he really became a, an, an explosion of, of, of music. Wild. He's gone. Jordan, Google Drive, and Mari, 2002. Ah, and Mari. Ah, 2002. Right. Just good. Yeah. That, that, that song was. Uh -huh. Yes, that, that song was written by, by Ed Sheeran as well. Yeah, it's a really cool song. Ed yeah. Sheeran, we cannot take him <laughs> off. Yeah. Right? Great. You guys got great taste in music. We. Why? Why? Do you know why? MCA. Yes. Of course. Yes, of course. And you like it. Okay. And also, hey, hey, Jude. Oh, the Beatles. Yes, the Beatles, anytime. Uh, it, it is interesting always to listen to what other artists are kind of listening to because I you can, right. you can, oh. you can hear maybe, um, you can see what they like and perhaps that will translate into their own music maybe in mm -hmm. the future or stuff. So it's interesting that you guys have such a mix of genres and, and artists. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. And he really wants to talk about Sam Ryder. <laughs> Start a tiny ride. Oh, oh. Do you know that? No, I have no, no idea. I actually don't know what that song is. I didn't it, know what that like, was. This this song, I heard that it, it really got famous in Korea. Really? Because you know, like he, he hits like the high note, he he like he he kills it. Oh. Right. 
I'm well, gonna have to go listen to that right now because that, that's crazy. I've never heard of that, but that leads me to this. <laughs> <laughs> that that leads me to this question then. Um, what is the vocal training or maybe vocal exercises that any of you guys perhaps likes to do or, or or maybe in the training? What what was the vocal training like? Oh, so every day we didn't miss out a lip trail. Do you know what a lip trail is? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is a way to do this and you guys like like many people who's not talented in singing they they would like maybe think that this is easy but <laughs> who are not talented it's really hard like but some people are really talented they just do it and you know all the lines like from the the singing yeah, lines, the veins, yeah, yeah. open and mm -hmm. we call that a talent but it I is think we do have talents but we're not like, you know, like talented, talented from the beginning. So we had mm -hmm. to do a lot of practicing and, you know, we had lessons uh, like three times a week. Wow. And when we were training, we had to, you know, I don't know how to call that in English. Can I search that on my phone? Absolutely, yeah. Course. Please feel free. Have you guys heard of no deal? Oh, no deal. No no yeah, 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 of course. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> like we have like three members who got that because oh, no. sang too much. Gosh, <laughs> and actually, we still, I still have it. Oh no! Ooh. Yeah, but, you gotta but, be careful with that. Yeah. Yeah, but it's okay because before, like, I didn't learn how to sing. You know, mm. I sang with like all my throats. Like Arr! now, it's more smooth. Better, like, yeah. In, well, ca in case uh, for those who maybe uh, you know who will listen to this, in case they don't know what a nodule is, a nodule is basically like a blister to a certain extent in your throat. It, it's, um, it's in the vocal folds that it prevents the actual the full fold to touch each other, so there's no actual sound that comes through in the larynx. And, and this can That's can happen not just because of bad technique. Sometimes it can happen due to exhaustion and fatigue. Mm -hmm. um, it, it does happen. I mean, a very popular singer that she was sort of. This happened to Miley Cyrus has been um, one that's happened to it. Um, Adele has to go through Adele surgery, has had to go through it. For it. Yeah. So all the artists, all the artists, mm, most of yeah. the artists. It's very and common. Like, you know, I, I, I talked with our, our vocal team, uh, trainer and yeah. we call we, we call her like our mother <laughs> because, you know, she's really, she's really caring and she's really talented in teaching. Yeah. And we go like, uh, we uh -huh. call her Sam, which is like teacher, like teacher. I got a no, no deal and then she's just like, it's okay, just live yeah. in it. <laughs> you don't yeah. have to care about it. You can still sing. Everybody goes through that and just yeah. don't worry about it. And then I was like, okay. Yeah, I just back. Yeah, you just get to like relearn certain things, like whatever con doesn't work in the way that you used to. You just have to reteach yourselves new 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 manners, new ways to work around it without actually making it worse as, as the progression goes. It's, it's actually great advice. But, it, but it's not the end of the world, so yeah, yeah, happy yeah. days. <laughs> that, so, because your songs, I think, uh, like the discography so far that you guys have compiled in such a short amount of time, by the way, you guys work like crazy. So much work. Um, but the, all of the discography up to this point, including the dance heavy tracks and the, the more pop forward tracks are quite vocally demanding. What is your approach when you have to do several tracks one after the other performing live? So, uh, you know, our album comes out, you know, almost every like three to four months. I know. That's right. And then we have, that means we have to make our song ready and our music video done like at least one month before our comeback. Mm -hmm. So we're really uh, like, out of time we're really short on time every time we try to pr produce the new album mm -hmm. and basically when we uh, get to our album like all our you know focus is on our title track 
Yeah. So the other other tracks, we it's he says it's really actually difficult, you know, to actually get into the music and you know try to put more time to practice for it because all our focus is on our title song. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, so, but Mujin is saying, but it's it's also uh, really uh, you know like a, you know our title song and title song they're all like so much conceptual. Yeah. Yeah. So actually, it doesn't have uh, a lot of popular, uh, like a pop. <laughs> Let me search that on my phone. <laughs> That's all right. Popularity. Oh, popularity. Uh, popularity, right? Uh, we, yes. It's like, like you know, a popularity of <laughs> yeah, uh, of it doesn't have that much popularity of in our title song because you know it's so conceptual. It's like a cinematic. Yeah. Yeah. Thing. Like you don't actually, you know, go to drive and listen to like, you know, like a we run the world. Hey, you, you'd, be you'd, be, you'd, be you'd be surprised. You'd be surprised. You'd be surprised, brother. You'd be yeah. surprised. You could be making well, you know, your own our, your own music video was the album's playing. Yeah. Yeah, but but our other songs, you know, it has popularity in it. It's like you guys can listen to it when, uh, yeah, like a song like a blinder. Yeah, mm-hmm, you, it's mm-hmm. really good when you listen to it when you're driving, working or out, puts you in a good mood because you know it's actually really fun mm-hmm. and the song is really bright. Yeah. So he says it's really nice to have other songs which because it matches us well. So you guys should also listen to try to listen to our other songs too. Definitely. Actually, one, one of the songs like that, um, that it kind of goes in a specific place, like Illusion. Oh, I from love your, From that. your recent album. It, I, I love working out, you know what I mean? To that kind of like electro pop kind of sounding of things. So it, it, it does. It's very fun. Yeah, yeah. So it, yeah, every, every song, I guess, has its own vibe and, and genre, which mm. you can put in different oh. playlists. So you like like a uh, city pop music? Oh yes, um, absolutely. Yeah, no, no, no. But like my playlist isn't full of city pop. I but when it. I work out, it's the best. Oh, yeah. You you work out with illusion? Yeah, but yeah, it gets me. Yeah, I don't know. A little bit slow. No, no, it gets you like uh, you yeah, know when you're tracks. deadlifting, you're deadlifting, and it goes slow. <laughs> no, the it goes slow, it goes slow, <laughs> and then you go. Oh yeah. So you go like studio slow. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Because I don't know ballads to me, and maybe not ballads, but like uh, or, or yeah. slower songs. Deadlifting is the best because you just focus, you get inspired, <laughs> and then you go and lift it. Oh <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I I can't listen to like rap or really angry music when I'm deadlifting because I then I get angry, and then it, and then it ruins my day because then I'm angry the whole day. How 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 do you do you lift? Yeah yeah yeah. How hard do you lift? Depends. How hard? What 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 would you like to know? Like so, what like deadlift, a, bench? How many how many how many, how many pounds? Uh, pounds? Or what deadlifting? Yeah. Uh, I don't know what it would be in pounds. Like hundred kg, one twenty is my PB. Okay. Wow. Yeah. How how much is that in pounds? Is that strong? One twenty. How much? We we got a new king here, guys. Ah, <laughs> Oh, I'm strong man. <laughs> You're strong man, yeah. Yeah, I but bet. I've been liking um, you know, calisthenics. Um, they're like pull-ups and uh, sort of like headstands the and handstands. I, I like doing that better. So, do you, do you do you want to come here and just do some pull-ups over there? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nice. You guys have the so, whole setup. So, so you guys, uh, yeah, okay. I've never asked this before. Um, maybe for for an idol. Or oh, actually, in your case, for Seven Kings, what is their workout routine like? Or what what do you guys do to work out? Some of some of us go to gym mm. and we PT and get like a per, personal training. Yeah, that's fine. From our, for from our manager, <laughs> <laughs> co manager. Yes. Yeah, our manager goes like one more, one more, and then <laughs> you know it's actually so funny because you know we were in the gym and then I was you know doing the our uh, leg raises and if you do one more you're gonna get the first place if you do one more you know ascension's gonna get first place in billboard i'm like yeah! <laughs> one more. that's what you call motivation Woo! Yeah. my god that's good that's good you know? 
Well, because yeah. also, I mean, you were just mentioning now, your schedules are pretty packed. I mean, you mm. you guys are barely probably resting. You, you're always recording or always creating content. I had a look at some of your vlogs, uh, <laughs> some of you buying perfumes and stuff. Uh, and, you know, you Oh. Yeah, so <laughs> go and go on. So you're all busy all the time. So it's always important, I guess, to work out to keep in shape. But take us maybe through your your schedule. What you know, like how well are you guys sleeping, or what do you do in your free time? Uh, uh, actually, you know, when uh, on our promotion time, like mm -hmm. nowadays, yeah, we don't get to sleep a lot. You know, yeah. if we sleep, then. If we sleep like around four hours, then it's a really long sleep for us. <laughs> you know, actually, so this is how it goes. We we usually wake up at like three or four in the a.m. and then we go to uh, get our makeup done, mm -hmm. and then we go for a rehearsal, and then uh, we we do like a camera re rehearsals and all those things. And after that, you know, we had to do some. There's so many things to do. We're actually preparing something for our fans too. So we have to, you know, come practice a little bit and then we go for our actual show. And then when the show is over, we do like an interview like this. Mm -hmm. And then when this is over, then, and, and even like on Fridays or, or on Saturdays or on our weekends, um, we have our fan meeting and also yeah. like a video fan meeting too for our international fans. Actually, we love our international fans. We love fans. Yay! <laughs> and, uh, Kingmakers. Uh, and also, yeah. So when the fan meeting's over, everybody's like dead tired because yeah. you know we had been we had we, we didn't we didn't have to sleep. But actually, our fans gives us like a lot of energy when we yeah. actually see them because you know they always have so much care for us. They go like, um, "How are you?" Like they they ask us every time like, "How are you today?" And then I mean, so like so heartwarming because you know. The, they're, they're, there's a limit of time yeah. and I know that I know that they they want they really want to talk to us more and like you know ask us many questions they love to ask mm -hmm. but there's such a short time and then the first question they ask is how are you feeling today yeah mm -hmm. how are you today and I, I mean it really warms our heart and I really want to thank thank them so much for giving us energy and but after all the family things and everything is over like the members you know we just faint inside our car, you know? <laughs> yeah. and we're like, Shh. and then it's like, hey, hey, wake up, we're, we're home, we're like, okay, okay, go, go, and then we wash ourselves. And there's only two bathrooms in our door. <laughs> you have to take turns, you know. Turns, yeah. okay, let's do rock paper scissors. <laughs> like, oh, are you done? Oh, okay, let's go. And then everybody's done, and then you know, after like, we have to you know dry our hair, and yeah, go to sleep at like twelve or one, and then. All Just over again, bed, and then we yeah. close our eyes, and then our alarms like brrr, wake up. Yeah. What? Yeah. Uh, what? No. Yeah. And we have to go again. You know, repeat this. Is, this is like a repetition of our cycle. And on our free times, it's actually like a comp complete opposite. Sleep right. all the time. Yeah, we 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 really like sleep a lot. Yeah. And That's good. That's good. Sleep sleep till like. <laughs> 12 o'clock maybe and then yeah, yeah, we go yeah. out to our company and then we just you know stay to company for like for around like eight to ten hours mm -hmm. and then we you know just eat something and oh yeah go home do it all over again <laughs> yeah i mean we I actually don't we, like k-pop idols we don't have that much you know free time because yeah yeah, yeah. That, yeah. I, I was gonna mention to you i was gonna mention that brother because it again it very rarely i think many people and i'm sure all of the listeners and all your fans will appreciate this because it, it's so you know super informative mm -hmm. to be able to see what their actual true life and their, their like the dedication mm -hmm. and sacrifice that it takes to be able to be an artist of your caliber to finish off lads and uh, by the way thank you so much um Yay. maybe i'll give you the 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 show for you if there's anything you'd like to say to your fans or maybe anything you'd like to share one last time the floor is completely yours let's i love you king man <laughs> <laughs> so, so always support us kingdom I miss you, King Me. I miss you. Oh. <웃음> 그러면은 앞으로 이제 남은 승천 활동 예쁘게 잘 지켜봐 주시고 저희 이제 
관심과 미비도 언제 나올지는 아직 비밀이지만 그래도 예쁘게 잘 지켜봐 주셨으면 좋겠습니다. 감사합니다. Okay, so uh, please look after our new title song Ascension and please look forward to our new music video of uh, uh, the song of Dan Promise to Nice. 보다 더 멋진 음악을 가져오라고. We're going to produce better music, so please be with us and 저희가 만나는 그날까지 저희가 좋은 곡 많이 담아둘 테니까 기대하고 기다려 주세요. So until we meet, this is for our international king makers, until we meet together. Because we never got to meet to, you know, we never got to meet each other face to face, you know. Yet, when yet. We meet, yeah, yet. So when we meet, until we meet, we're going to uh, really get a lot of more and better music. So please wait for us because we really love you guys. And <clears throat> to wrap up, uh, thank you so much for having us on your show. Really honored. And, you know, I mean, nowadays, the, the because of COVID, it's really hard to, you know, to actually, uh, you know, communicate with all the other people. But I'm so happy to, you know, talk to you guys and talk to our fans, I mean, in all around the world. And I really want to tell them that uh, when, the, uh, when this COVID is over, we really want to come to even UK and yes. United, and like all, all the countries to meet you guys. So please don't think that we don't care about the international kingmakers. We do care about international kingmakers. You guys are our everything. We love you guys so much. So please wait for us. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I do want to say just just to end it off, uh, lads, you're welcome, and, and I hope we manage to do something uh, here. But I, I, you're welcome to come to London anytime, and uh, I'd love to meet you guys in person as always, and show you around. And I'm sure some of your fans would love that <laughs> as well. Uh, but our doors are always open to you guys. Anything you guys release, let us know, and we will be sure to tell all of the viewers. Um, absolute pleasure, everybody. Kingdom, and yeah. if you guys would like to do your outro or anything, this is the moment. 그러면 저희 킹덤 인사드리도록 하겠습니다. Close the gate, kingdom. 감사합니다. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, 